once again, it's Simply Erica giving you guys another wig review today. So if you want to learn all about this silver sky blue hair, then you stay tuned and check it out. I automatically love this wig, y'all. This color. I'm definitely getting all type of storm vibes, so uh, I'm obsessed with it. Today, I have for you ladies the Zuri Sis Ari 24 inch lace front wig. And I know a lot of you girls are probably gonna comment, oh, you look like her. I always get that. I don't know why. I don't think so. But I have her in the color Platinum Sky. I did have the Liberty from divatress.com. They were kind enough to send this unit to me. Um, this unit runs for about $30, I believe. I will leave a link for you lace it down below. But just to give you guys the rundown about this unit, you're going to get two combs near the parting space and one in the back with adjustable straps. And y'all, like I say, y'all know how I feel about those combs near the parting space. It just, uh, it's not secure on the sides. The unit is very, very, very full. You're getting a lot of thickness. She is a lot of hair and very long. She comes down below my chest. I'm 5'4", so you're getting a lot. Very diva, big hair. She's a bold color. I love the color because she's different. I've already done a silver gray before and that's what I was kind of hoping for with this wig, but it's more of a baby blue tint with a hint of silver, but dominantly, you know, more of a baby blue. As you guys can see, get a close up. You can definitely can see the baby blue within this unit in a tint of silver from like a far away distance. Now on the packaging, it does say it comes with C part uh, parting. And as you can see here, the parting right here, um, I wouldn't say it's C parting. I don't, I don't know why they call that. To me, it's just a regular, you know, diagonal line, whatever. But um, you're going to get about, you know, two and a half, three inches. I had to pluck her a lot because she really wasn't as noticeable as what I liked it to be. So I had to pluck her a lot to get it to open up and then I had to put my concealer underneath the lace and on top of the lace to kind of make it show. So as you can see, this is the final result of the party after it has been pulled. Now let's talk about the texture of this wig. She's definitely a yakky texture. Uh, I somewhat see it, it's definitely going to tangle over time. I can already tell by the ends, just, I, it, they just look kind of ratty, I'm not a fan of that. And I can already see the tangling right there, if you guys can just look at it. At the same time, I don't know if this is a unit that you would wear out all the time. Uh, it could be for, you know, going out. If you look, if you work in a professional setting, I would not recommend wearing this wig. So, you know, this is kind of like one of those fun wigs or maybe on Halloween, you know, use it to your advantage. Just, I would not wear it to a professional work setting. She does shed quite a bit. Um, as you guys can see from just pulling on it, I probably have a few strands already. She, yeah. She's definitely a shedder. Now, as far as the lace on this unit, you are going to get hard lace. I'm sorry, ladies, you are going to have to deal with that itchy, itchy uh, lace. It's also kind of irritating my ear at the moment. But um, just as long as you cut it toward the edge, and that's what I did, I had to cut it right toward the hairline, not enough to like where it cuts off some of the hair, so don't do that. Be very careful. But to where it's kind of shaping the hairline. I also will warn you about the hair. Okay. So you see the dark root kind of continues to my ear. I had to do that myself. Honestly, it stopped right here and I did not like that. So what I did, and this is a trick for all my ladies who don't know, you can take mascara to make your own dark roots and continue them. So what I did is kind of like took take the, the wand of your mascara and kind of brush it lightly to give it that ombre effect as you guys can see. So now it just kind of looks like the ombre is all the way ear to ear taps. And that looks so much better than like an awkward stop. My overall th thoughts about Ari is that she is gorgeous. I love 
the curls in her. Um, when you get out of the package, she comes a little tight. So I did have to brush her out to make it look a little bit more full. I'm loving this little diva bang. I mean, that's probably the best part. She's different. She's unique. Definitely an eye catcher for anybody who is looking to do something, you know, off the charts. This is that wig. She's long and she's thick. Really thick. Not that, you know, in between. It's, she's really thick. Thank you ladies for watching my review. I really am excited about this wig. Again, you can purchase this wig from divatrist.com. Don't forget, the link is in the description box. If you guys are interested in seeing more wigs, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You know the drill. Bye.